Hey there all you handsome bastards and classy ladies and welcome back to some more of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. Now as you can see behind me, these two guys are engaging in one of man's favourite pastimes, a good old fashioned drunken bear brawl. Because that's just, what, that's just what men do. So what we're doing, uh, before we carry on with Family Matters, um, which is the main storyline quest at the moment, I just thought I'd go out of my way to take a look around some of the nearby towns and uh, take a look at some notice boards, collect some quests and uh, just level up a little bit and get some experience, rewards, money, all that kind of fun stuff. And what I actually like about the side quests in The Witcher 3 is that they, um, each side quest, it isn't just a case of go here and do this, you tend to actually get a bit of storyline and a bit of character development with it as well, you know? So they're like little short stories within the main narrative, which I like. Now this one's quite convenient, I picked the quest up from this notice board, it's called The Fall of House Reardon. And we have to ask Dolores about the monster in her manor. And conveniently enough, Dolores is this this poor, poor, sad woman standing over here. So I figured, well, for the sake of convenience, she's probably a safe bet to go with. So we're going to get things started with her and see what's got her all down. And see if we can turn her frown upside down. Yeah, yeah, turn the frown upside down. I think that's the right way to say it. Well, that's what I'm going with. We're going to make her happy, people. Let's see if we can make her happy. What was that about? What's become of me in me elder years? Refused a roof over me head by a common churl. I was born a noble's daughter. My brother and I, we managed the manor for years. What happened to him? A caller came one day. A drifter, a hunter. It wasn't long before we fell in love and wed. We prepared to leave the manor. My brother, he took offence, refused to bid me farewell. Years on I returned, but found no sign of him. Folk claimed monsters had infested our home. Come to nest there. I could take care of those monsters for you. Hmm. You're a witcher, right? No ordinary man would be so eager. Don't fret. It's all the same to me, provided you're honest. The house is east of here. Take this key. Once you've driven off the beasts, look for a chest. My treasure, savings really, they're yours. What'll that leave you with? A roof over my head is all I need. And if it comes to it, I've other heirlooms to sell. But I know you witchers don't work for free. I could never let you go without honest pay. Gods keep you. All right then, so we just gotta go and clear out her family home. It should be a nice standard sweep and clean kind of a thing, so. Oh, Rochinald! Come here. I was thinking, like, I was wondering if you'd be able to get new horses in this game, you know, if you'd be able to upgrade, basically. Now, as far as I know, you can't. You just have this one horse, just this Roach, and uh, you upgrade him by changing his saddlebags, his blinders, and all that kind of stuff. But the thing is, I actually prefer it that way, because I've gotten very emotionally attached to Roach. I like having him with me. Um, Take it easy. Hang on, let me just check out my world map. Maybe I shouldn't go off the main road. Her manor is over there. So yeah, it might actually be best if I just stuck Come on the main road then. I'm just going to turn around. Um, but yeah, you kind of get attached to having this one same horse with you the whole time. So even if there was an option to buy another horse, I can't get rid of him. You know, I can't turn him into glue just so I can buy another horse. I can't do that. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Not to mention Jess would kill me. So <laughs> um, yeah, I hope all you handsome bastards and classy ladies, I hope you're all doing well. I want you to sit back, relax, throw your feet up and enjoy this video. Um, I'm hoping this is just going to be a bit of a short quest because then I'm going to get back to the Family Matters quest line with the Bloody Baron. And uh, oh, it seems to be taking us off the old beaten track here. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting back into that, getting back into the storyline. Now, as you can tell, I got myself some spanky new armor since the end of the last video. Um, that's just because that's 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 what I had. <laughs> I kind of had it ready. I leveled up. An obstacle is in my way. Maybe I'll just go around this way. Uh, but yeah, I hit level 5, so I was able to equip it. And uh, it makes him look fat. If, to, if, I had to, if I had to criticize one thing, it makes Geralt look fat. I mean, that's not exactly a deal breaker, it's just protection and whatnot, but he, he, he's looking a bit chubby, you know? With the beard as well, he's starting to look like a chubby old man. I was thinking as well, I should probably give Roach a last name. And I was thinking about... Oh yeah, yeah, we're nearly there. I wonder if I can push Move him it. up this hill. Ah, there we go. 
I was thinking about giving him the last name McWinnie. Just because I can say his name is Roach McWinnie. But uh Yeah, that's just that's just my thought. But that's why I'm not allowed to name things. It's gonna be great fun when um myself and Jess have a child. She's like, what are you gonna name her? I'm gonna call her a Thunder Girl. And she will say no. And I will be sad and offended, but <laughs> in hindsight, probably for the best. Alright, we have arrived at our destination. Must be the manor the old woman mentioned. Kill the monsters in the manor. Oh! Fuck me, what was that? knew what they were doing. Never known a monster to set a trap. A trip wire on here. Traps everywhere. Gotta be careful. Ouch. Is that another? That's another! I wanted to disarm that. Uh, hang on, let me cast Quinn. Booby trap. Whoever said it knew what they were doing. <laughs> well, to be fair, I saw it there, like the consummate professional that I am, and I decided to disarm it with my face. Alright, so we can probably go into the barn, but that's not the, uh... That's the manor itself, right? So we're gonna check out the manor first. Now we're gonna see if there's anything hiding out in the barn. One less to worry about. Any good loot or anything. Jesus, tons of traps. Movement. Got to keep my ears open. Rustling. Over there. You know what? This barn is starting to seem very significant to me. So let me just... Yeah, ghost of... Rustling's coming from the barn. Alright, enter the barn. I'm thinking maybe her brother is still hanging around for some reason. Something's and he's not right. And he's gone batshit crazy. <laughs> A tripwire. Shit. That didn't shut itself. Tripped a wire. Well, no, it didn't shut itself. It kind of shut behind you before this uh, cutscene played out. Look at that for a booby a trap. Wire. For when one crossbow isn't enough. <laughs> Problem solved. I'm gonna disarm this too. Jesus, whoever said this is a dangerous man. I I think the only monster here is a human. <laughs> Uh, I'm just, I'm just taking whatever I can get my hands on. Your compensation. There, make it look all nice and purdy. So the crossbows are disarmed. There's something moving around up there. See, I want to say what's. About. I want to say that whatever's up there is our monster, but yeah, like Geralt said, monsters don't set traps. So my money is going to be on the. The guy being crazy. Hmm. A sort of attic. Gotta get up there somehow. I wonder how I will do this. Although let me just Actually no, it's fine. Let's just carry on. Be just long enough to reach that upper level. We're just gonna risk it. I'm not gonna save it. Let's see what's up there. The game froze on me last night when I saved it, so I, I didn't want to risk it. Your reflexes have slowed. Hope you're not hurt. Those were my traps. Letho. Yeah, didn't expect to see you either. You one of them? <laughs> Holy shit, people, it's Letho. For those of you who didn't play The Witcher 2, Letho was a guy who, in the opening cinematic, killed King Demavent. He also ki killed King Faultest. He killed a lot of people, basically. Um, he was working for the Nilfgaardian Empire, and then I think they had a bit of a falling out afterwards. I'm guessing Nilfgaard wanted to, like, you know, close up loose ends, so they tried to kill off Letho. That's what I think happened, anyway. But, uh, yeah, shit. I did not expect to bump into him. I'm, I'm a little starstruck right now. Who's them? To the Emperor, mercenaries. To themselves, bounty hunters. To me, ordinary sons of bitches. Well, got nothing to fear from me. Took a job from an old woman. Supposed to get rid of the monsters here. Did that already. Count on you remembering that when you collect your pay. 
Well, that's that's mighty convenient. Uh, great place to hide. I kind of want to know who's after him. Who do you piss off this time? Emperor just decided to get rid of me. I'm an inconvenient witness after all. I've run into loads of men out to kill me ever since I left Loch Muin. Now I understand all the traps. Gotten real careful. For good reason. Don't look a bit like lost travelers. They're not. Means Lewis sold me out. Lewis? Old friend, kinda. Did a few jobs together once a while past. Lewis recommended this place to me. Okay. Uh, yeah, it... it I, I'm gonna say, like, you know, you sure he betrayed you? It looks like he got duped. You've grown careless. Let yourself be drawn into a trap. Nah. Only traps here are the ones I set. Gotta get rid of them. Coming. Damn right I'm gonna help him. Like, the thing is, is between Geralt and Letho, they kind of have this begrudging, not even begrudging, there's this bit of a respect and friendliness between them now. Um, when they first fought, Letho could have killed Geralt, but decided not to, he let him live. And Letho also helped rescue Triss Marigold as well, so they're on good terms. Lead the way. We got a plan of attack? Yeah, improvise. I like the way he rolls. Also, see, he was able to jump out the window, no problem. Yeah, I had a feeling that was gonna hurt me. <laughs> All right, uh, gonna get Quen going. Hang on. <laughs> I think a guy just got knocked down. Just, I didn't realize I'd knocked onto someone so far away. Okay. Damn it. Gotta get my Quensang going. Alright. We got this, people. It's under control. Two Witchers and all that jazz. My god, Letho has a lot of friends. Damn it. Stop pummeling me. Alright, this guy's dead anyway. That's one down. I wonder if I can knock him down. There we go. At least that's an instant kill. Ah. The lock system, the auto lock is great most of the time, but it can be very, very awkward. The horse is panicking in the background as well as, as a very, very big distraction. Oh, there we go. Good fight. Really good, entertaining, enjoyable fight. That's the Goddamn sadist in me talking. Shuttily armed for assassins. They're just scats. Came to see if Lewis was telling the truth. Rest must be waiting nearby. And your old pal probably knows where. He was the only one knew I'd be here. Must have told him. Think me and him are due for a little chat. Yeah, we're coming along. I gotta see how this plays out. Hmm. Could be interesting. Love to see it. Come along. Decided two witches should loosen his tongue that much quicker. Stay close to me. It's one of those places that's hard to find if you don't know where to look. Okay, let me just heal myself up though. And I have a feeling there's going to be more fights to come, so I'm just going to equip. Yeah, I'm going to equip that bomb. I'm going to equip Quen. Miss Lewis, somehow doubt he's one of your best friends. You know how it is in this trade. Drink with someone in the evening, check if he's robbed you in the morning. How'd you meet? It was before Faltas kissed this world goodbye. Lewis was a wanted man in Adam. Hefty bounty on his head and normal contracts were hard to come by. So I decided to catch the bastard make some coin. Tracking him down proved easier than killing a drowner. He was, uh, merry-making at the Golden Hanged Man. Smack in the middle of Hag. Nabbed him, tied him up, but the guard post didn't open till dawn. So we had a few hours. Started talking, killing time. 
chat was so nice that once dawn came, I let him go. And that's why you trusted him? Felt he owed you one? I was stupid. Stupidity can cost you. But betrayal costs even more. Damn right, as well as that- hang on, let me just uh, check out what I've got equipped. I didn't appreciate his whole easier than killing a droner line. <laughs> Speaking as someone who has had much difficulty in the past fighting droners, I don't appreciate that at all. Um, okay, so in terms of oil, yeah, Thunderbolt is pretty much what we're going to want to be using. I've got one left. Got some bombs going on as well. I suppose we're, we're as well set as we're ever going to be. I just got my weapons repaired as well before I started this video, so... Well, let's just see how this pans out, shall we? But yeah, this is awesome. So I'm guessing if you... Back when you're talking to... Just before you meet the Emperor, when you're deciding what choices you made in Witcher 2, I'm guessing if you picked that Letho is dead, that you killed him, then the manor would have just simply been full of monsters and you killed them off. I'm not going to lie, I prefer this quest. <laughs> I prefer this quest a lot. I think we just like, our horses just merged into one. Into like one Cerberus style horse. Which also would have been still fair in your enemies. Now oh, if this isn't an intimidating sight, I don't know what is. Oh, there's a dead man. Alright, that's intimidating. I give him credit. Greetings. Good to see you, alive and well. Oh, yeah? Of course. <laughs> We're old mates, ain't we? Who's your friend? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. Another one? What's this? Prime contract available in the area? Sit down. Care for a drink? I don't drink with traitors and rats. Whoa, let's be civil now. Remember, you're on my turn. Arno Vesta's men showed up at the manor. You were the only one knew I was there. They've been nipping at your heels for a while. Said so yourself. Perhaps they finally caught a whiff. Hmm. With your help. You've not been here five minutes, and already you've offended me twice. No insult worthy of scum like you. What can okay. you Straight into fight and talk then. Now what am I doing? I want to kill off his cronies first. And then we'll worry about the main guy himself. Ow. Just incinerate them alive. Because that's how I roll. Hmm. Bomb! Might as well blend the crap out of them all. I think that actually was quite effective because I think it got like all of them in one go. I'm gonna break out my Ard sign as well because that's handy for humans. Nah, I was hoping to get a critical attack on him. Alright, we got one more to get. Down he goes. Oh, slice across the shoulder. Rough. Lie still or you'll bleed to death. Tell me where Vester's men are. I'll give you something to staunch the bleeding. <laughs> They're north of here. Uh, in Lindenvale. Hmm. I don't think he's lying, but I would want to know how much he got paid. Just out of curiosity, I mean, what's the going rate on betraying a badass like Letho these days? I'm curious. How much does the life of an old mate get you these days? Things. Things been shy of late. And we fell afoul of the black ones. Vesta showed up one day, offered half of the bounty on your head, and a letter of absolution from the Emperor. You gotta understand, you don't say no to an offer like that. I understand. Hey! My medicine! Gotta understand, Lewis. You don't betray men like me. Time to see Vester going with you. Damn right. Although, do I have the option of patching him up? No, but I can loot him. 
Oh, uh, that does sound like a terrible way to go, but unfortunately, I can't help you, buddy. You really shouldn't have pissed off a man like Leto. Hmm, did I just pick up some new equipment? Nah, hang on. Go back across. Uh, Skellige Gambeson. It's worth a lot of money, but it doesn't really offer much protection. It's a bit of a drop in armor rating, but still. If I can sell it, then fundaba. Just gonna loot some stuff here. Sorry, Letho, your your impending vengeance. We we'll just have to wait. Now the dogs will only eat you if you're not nice to them. Give them a belly rub, and you'll be fine. It says the guy who's had to kill many rabid dogs. <laughs> Yeah, alright. I'm happy to continue on with Mr. Uh... Oh, no, where's Roach? Ah, oh, he was just waiting down below. <laughs> he always kind of reminds me of a, as a do of a dog sometimes. Faster. I was like, oh, hey, girl, sorry. Alright. We need poor Lewis to the rabid dogs. And we're gonna go find ourselves. Morning, was it Arno Vester? Elf Guardian name. From Metner, I think. But he's hunted and killed everywhere from the far south to the Dragon Mountains. Why have I never heard of him? Goon goes by different names. Brandon Vilf, Apple Saxon, Manfred Wimple Bottoms. Manfred Wimple Bottoms? Good name for a clown. Once he's done in, sure we're laughing. Preferred Snow method. Whoa. Rip the teeth out one by one, then cut the mouth open ear to ear. It's how they punish deadbeat debtors in the Milf Guardian underworld. Quite the career. Underworld to serving the Emperor in his court. Yeah, scum does usually. Keep your eyes open. Think they're really here? Don't know. But like I said, I've grown real careful. I gotta say, I love the way Letho talks. <laughs> yeah, that whole like, smoky, uh, he kind of reminds me as if like he's trying to be a cowboy. But he was just born in the wrong era. Ah, nice oh, it is plans. a cute sheep dog. Got to be worth more than the entire village. Oh, sorry. Why did I dismount? Oh, well, he's dismounting as well. I just saw the dog and dismounted. I got distracted. <laughs> Are we oh, here we go. What's in the barn? Hey! Got company? Run and find your parents. Tell them to grab whatever's valuable. Take you and flee. Got it? Good. Give this to your mother. Now run. What was that? Compensation. Stay here and don't interfere. No matter what happens. Plug your ears. What are the blazes? A bolt of lightning or something? Shut up, all of you. Letho of Gullet. Good to see you, alive and well. Funny. Second time today I've heard that lie. It is no lie. You will certainly fetch a higher bounty alive. Really? How much? Hmm, strange point to just cut to a, a loading screen. That is a very strange spot to just cut. He was mid-conversation. Enough to buy me an estate in Kavir. Not bad. Not every man gets to know the price on his hand. Most men would prefer not to have one. But why have you come? To make my life easier? Is this cutting to another random... I'm guessing we ran into one of the game's bugs, people. 
I mean, it's by no means a game riddled with bugs, but this hits me as being a bit of a strange behavior. This shouldn't we be happening. Passing by, decided it was time to finally meet the famous Arno Vester in person. I am flattered. Shame we'll not get to know one another better. Why? Going somewhere? No. Simply because I will kill you in a moment. Wanna kill me, but you don't even know me. Not nice. Think I have to punish you for that. But I won't kill you. I'll just cut off your hands. Cut off all your hands. One man after the other. Till the end of your days. Those stumps will remind you of the mistake you made. Bloody hell. You fucking dimwit. I hadn't time to exchange two words with the man. He provoked me! We have no quarrel with you, but one false move and... And what? You will end like him. What say you to that? Well, there's no way I'm just going to leave Letho here to die. Although, he's not really breathing. He already looks dead. Um, I'm hoping he's not though, but... Yeah, they're good as dead. What do I say? Simple. You're as good as dead. I think the ground just shook with Geralt's badassery there. <laughs> Brilliant. I hate archers. Ow. Uh, okay, let me just get back to Erd. Damn it. I do love that bomb, or that, not bomb, the thingy, the sign, the exploding thingy. You get what I'm saying, people. Alright, that's one problem down. Ow. Yeah, Quen. Quen is what I want to do right now. Don't you dare pull out that bow and arrow again, you bastard. Stun him, I guess. Getting behind him seems like a good tactic, seeing as he's got a big heavy hammer of doom and destruction and despair. Oh, that's a kill stab right there is what that was. Still, they landed more hits on me than I would have liked them to. Sanguibarian venom. Something's fishy. Reckon... I reckon he's up to something, maybe. Oh, he looks adorable when he's sleeping. He's definitely amused, but we'll go down the whole concern for your health route. You all right? You're conscious, but the Zanguibarian venom could still kill you. Got the antidote? Hmm. Saddlebag. Take it in a minute. Couple of days I'll be like new. What was it for, that whole farce? Told you. I'd been on the run since Loch Muin. Loads of pursuers. Got ambushed once, almost died. 
So I decided it was time to end it. Once and for all. Found Vesto's gang and paid off his arbalist. You just witnessed the rest of the story. Okay, so... He basically, he's been on the run. If I understand this right, he's been on the run since Loch Muin, which is where The Witcher 2 ended. And, um... So yeah, what he must have been doing, he's, uh, he's been hunted down by a lot of people, so he arranged with the herbalist to hit him with the venom to make it look like he was dead. And then that way then I guess people would stop hunting him. What if he'd crossed you, like Lewis? I had to risk it. If you hadn't cut down every last witness, I'd be a free man. <sighs> Letho of Gullet is dead. Word of that would have spread across the continent in days. Wouldn't have done it if you'd let me in on your plan. Told you not to get involved. Well, my plan's in shambles. I should really disappear. I'm gonna send him to Kaer Morhen. See if he's up for that. Join the other witchers. Hmm. You could wait things out at Kaer Morhen. With your friends from the School of the Wolf? Uh-huh. <laughs> no thanks. Could end badly. Tell them I sent you. They'll understand. Give you space. Care more, and you say? Hmm, why not? Got some loose ends to tie up, but then I'll head there. Excellent. Help you somehow? Need anything? No thanks. I'll be fine. So, see you at Care More. And see you, Wolf. Well, that was excellent because I was genuinely worried that he was going to, um,. That he was going to be dead, you know? Uh, that the, you, you kind of get him to stay alive, but only so that they can kill him off for definite in the quest in this game. Um, okay, so there you have it, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies. That was Letho of Gullet. He is alive and well, and he's headed to Kaer Morhen. Hopefully, he'll pop up again later on in the game. I'm hoping that wasn't just like a brief cameo, and then that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. It took an unexpected turn, I'm not going to lie, I didn't expect Letho to turn up. I thought that if he was going to be in the game, he'd be part of the main quest somehow, you know? I didn't expect him to just be part of some random side quest. Um, which just goes to show, they're worth doing. When you look at those notice boards, they are quests well worth doing. Anyways, I just want to thank you all for watching this video. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please do click that subscribe button. And uh, leave me a comment, let me know what you think of the game, the series. Uh, if you're playing it yourself, I would love to know what you think of it. Or if you're sitting on the fence about it and you have any questions, do feel free to let me know. I'll gladly answer them for you. Alright then, all you handsome bastards and classy ladies, thank you for watching this video. And I will see you all in my next one, where we're going to get back to the Bloody Baron and take on the Family Matters quest once more. See you in my next video, people. Take care.